at Levy Center again. And I think in that regard, uh, one can say that uh, the Gulen movement um, has a very established track record uh, in terms of its projects around the world, uh, both in improving uh, uh, the uh, education and the understanding of uh, so many Muslims uh, globally with regard to Islam, but also um, uh, through Fatullah Gulen and uh, the work of his schools and of the movement uh, in interreligious dialogue. And it's for that reason um, that uh, our Center for Muslim Christian Understanding uh, is, is delighted today to, uh, to be here, to co-sponsor, and uh, we look uh, forward to the conference. Esposito added that the world now needs Islam being told through an eminent educational perspective more than ever. Dr. Esposito also said, I believe this is the best movement in Islam in the last century. The moderator of the Gulen Conference, Dr. Sally Ann Baynard of Georgetown University, said Turkey has to invite Fethullah Gulen in the most chivalrous way back to his country. For me, the Gulen movement tries to make one understanding of other religions through one's own deep faith and prevent misunderstandings. Besides, Gulen is a man who loves his country and is bound to his country with stronger feelings and loyalty. Fethullah Gulen has a great love for the Republic of Turkey, and I'm putting my skepticism and scientific standing aside before the love of this person. Now I say that it is high time for this person to be invited to his country. Uh, next the conference, have, organized by Georgetown University academics from around the world, will tackle the contributions made by Turkish scholar Fethullah Gulen to interfaith dialogue and peace. More than 40 academics, mainly from the U.S., are attending the conference. Departed from the group to just stay at his graveside for about an hour and a half and prayed because the man, had, Rumi, had become so much a part of my life that it was like being in a sacred place. And I was impressed by how many different people from different cultures obviously felt the same way I did. That this was really a way for me to get in to the Golan movement that I would not have expected, did not anticipate. But then the more I got to know about the Golan movement, the more impressed I was to want to serve as sort of a volunteer myself as a teacher. We think that Gandhi's uh, movement uh, inspired millions of people and uh, it was a kind of unprecedented social movement in the 20th century and we did look at how the Satragyaha, the notion of service in Gandhi, uh, uh, really have the parallels in his mad service in the Gulen movement and uh, looking at the uh, truth, uh, uh, having uh, love and uh, understanding uh, coming together in the Gandhi's philosophy and uh, you cannot separate the truth and love.